Mr. Preble. Well, I, th I thought you did very well. Um, but having, having said that, um, there are two issues which we didn't, didn't debate further. And, and one of them is the question of drugs. Mm. And that is pushing up the prison populations right around the Western world. Well, as she says of Doug Graham ten years ago, yep. uh, mm. that's why we didn't have the... Well, we didn't take the next step. Yep. And, and <laughs> eventually it's going to come. Mm. Mm. Uh, is this a war we're losing? And, and is the cost of deciding to make all the drugs illegal, mm. which has been a policy I supported all of my political career, yep. but has it come a point where you say, does it make sense? And with regard to something like marijuana, I mean, it makes no sense. Mm. When, when large numbers of New Zealanders do not regard it as an offence, uh, what you've got is a situation that, that doesn't work and you end up with a whole lot of people in prison for something that a significant number of New Zealanders do not think was a crime. So and, I put and no, that's right. And and marijuana comes to meth does a lot less harm yes. than alcohol. Than alcohol. But when you come, oh, the combination's well, pretty bad. But if you, mm -hmm. if, I, I was saying, when you come well, to well, marijuana, it doesn't make you violent. When you come to methamphetamine, though, I mean, this is, a, we must say, a very good piece of policing customs work last week. Um, mm. uh, you know, and there might be a high percentage of New Zealanders yeah, actually but, also but, poll two things, which is line these people up and shoot them. But the point is this. Well, I'm just saying. Well, that, why well, not? Well, no, I'm just making the point that when we're saying why is the prison population so high, the minister gave us the answer. Um, that that's one of them, but.